Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you knit with ease, confidence and joy. Okay, let's talk about upgrading your knitted Christmas gifts today. When I say upgrading and knitted gifts, you are going to just add those touches, that X factor, luxuriate in what you knit. Really put time and effort and real thought into a very specific gift or a couple of specific gifts because we can't do this for everybody. This might be something that you really focus on because there's something very special about to happen and you want something to be that extra bit special. Now, this type of knitting will take planning. So the Christmas Knitting Planner can help you. I will leave the link for that below. It will just help you really focus and think about this gift by itself or you think about more at once. Okay, let's talk about upgrading your gifts. The first upgrade, I think this is probably quite an obvious one, that can be yarn quality. This can make a massive difference into how it wears because yarn quality upgrading just gives you that extra bit of quality fibre. Um, in the very smallest point, when um, yarn is spun into pieces, the fleece has large hairs and it has small hairs. So they are all kind of graded. The shorter ones are cheaper and the longer ones are more expensive. So as yarn is created, you'll see an increase in price for the yarns that have probably used the longer strands to create the yarn. This means that there are fewer points where there might be bubbles and pills. And with a longer yarn, it's less frequent. So that's something to really note as well. I also talked a lot about this in the video that I titled The Life-Changing Magic of Knitting Mojo, and that is Yarn Choice. Um, so that was talking about upgrading your yarn choice. So if you want to go and have a look at that video there, <laughs> then um, you could definitely have a look at that. That will talk about yarn quality, upgrading your yarn in a much bigger way um, for much longer. But yes, price can make a difference. The fibre that you choose, the um, the manufacturer that you go to as well. Also read reviews and talk to friends as well if you have knitting friends about which manufacturers have better quality yarn than others. There may even be a single yarn within a group, within a manufacturer's yarns, that just stands out as that little bit more quality. Um, it's that little bit more expensive. It doesn't have to be encroaching much on your budget. Just the tiniest upgrade can make a difference. The second way to upgrade your knitting and just give that luxurious touch is to go for designer patterns. I used to knit, probably like so many knitters, when the internet first came out there were so many free patterns out there and in the noughties that's where I would head. Oh yes, free patterns, where are they? I'm having them. And they weren't that great quality. I would have mishaps with cheaper patterns, with single patterns from designers I had no idea who they were because that was it, that's all they did. Here's a free pattern. I didn't see hide nor hair of them again. Um, this can be a slight problem on Ravelry but when you're looking on places like Ravelry then you go to someone who has, this is the thing, experienced and niched. The style of knitting, the type of garment You'll see, as you look at different designers across places like that, that they have a very specific way that they knit. And it might be as simple as top-down jumpers. It might be as simple as, I'm the queen of triangle shawls. Something like that. And they've knitted so many of them, they have refined the way that they knit them. So they've kind of left out any things that might go wrong or just change slightly the way that they increase or decrease. All of those little things will have been refined over the years. And because they've niched and said, that's what I love to knit, those designers will know what they're doing. You will have a much better tried and tested pattern as well, because once designers are established, they are able to get knitters to test patterns for them. If it's in a book, 
then you can guarantee pretty much that if it's a well-known manufacturer, it's going to be well written, the garment designer is going to be niched and experienced, and they will have tried and tested the pattern. Obviously, they will have tried it, tried and tested the pattern because the um, samples were there for the rule of photographs. <laughs> so they would have tested it, not just once, but quite a few times probably. And there are pattern auditors and pattern editors who will go through knitting patterns and say, yeah, okay, let me look at that, let me look at that, do those stitch counts add up, you've got a mistake here, that kind of thing will be done by manufacturers when they're publishing patterns. The other reason I would give you to upgrade your knitting pattern to a designer knitting pattern, you'll trust the stitch count, you'll be able to trust the needle size and the yarn choice. They're not going to stint on that kind of thing. And that is what makes the difference. All those things can make a big difference. And that is why if you want to really upgrade your knitting, then you go for a designer pattern. So the third upgrade, now this is really interesting because if you want to make this a luxury item, how about you choose a recent pattern? If you are knitting for someone who has trends, who really does follow fashion, then you're going to find that kind of pattern in recent patterns. But there are other reasons to do it as well. You can easily find classical patterns, classic designs and styles in recent patterns. They are all over the place because knitting doesn't change that great deal. I think one of the biggest reasons to choose a recent pattern is that if you pick a recent pattern, the yarn they will have chosen to knit that item with is still available. And they will have selected recent colours to knit up the sample so you can actually really see what it's going to look like. It's like going into a shop and knowing when you see a particular scarf or a t-shirt on a shelf or on a model and going, cool, that's just my sister, she'd love that. You're seeing the actual item you'll get and you get that in the photos of recent patterns too. So that's another option, recent patterns. So the fourth upgrade, I'm gonna give you two options here and this is about yarn choice, yarn color choice. So the first one is to choose recent colors. Just like I said, with the recent patterns, you're going to see the recent colours. So even if you're knitting from an older pattern that you've knitted before and you absolutely love, go for the yarn choice, but in a more recent colour. That's going to be more up to date. It's going to feel ready and true to the now. And if that's the kind of thing you want to knit, all of the different yellows that we've seen over the last five or six years in fashion slightly changes every year. And that's what's happened with yarn too. The other great thing to do is to take a look at classic shades that you've seen in the same yarn for a very long time. Just as an example, when I was knitting the Rainbow Cowl, I went for three shades that have been in the Rowan Felted Tweed collection for a very long time. As long as I can remember, um, and I've been very aware of the colours available in Felted Tweed since about 2008. And they've been there that long. So Bilberry Purple, Pine Green and Sea Sort of Blue. They are classic shades and they were even old and sat there for a long time when I found them back in 2008. So they are classic shades. They will be used over and over and over again and they're not likely to go anywhere soon. They're shades that people of all ages will be more than willing to wear. So that's the kind of thing you can do too. Go for the classic shades and go for neutrals. Go for neutrals, which will be classic shades too. So like a vanilla -y ice snow white, there will be always be a jet black. There will always be some kind of carbon granite grey. Yeah, just go for those shades that you know are either very recent or are absolute classics within that yarn or are neutrals that everybody would wear no matter what. The fifth upgrade is to remember finishing touches. Whether you are just knitting something and that's all you have to do, take time over your seaming if you have to do seaming. Don't just kind of do it with a dark light um, while you're having a cup of tea you go oh god yeah I've got to do this seam and pff, 
can't be bothered. Take your time over it. Put aside time to actually sit there and sew those seams. And that's not the only finishing that needs doing. You may need to add buttons. Get some really decent buttons. Get some good buttons. Some buttons that once they finish wearing this cardigan, they're going to say, God, I've worn this cardigan so much, there are holes at the elbows. I don't know what I'm going to do. She'll have to knit me another one. But you can use those buttons again for the next one because they're such good quality. That is something that would definitely be worth it. And let's say, I mean, it's sustainable too. We don't want throwing away plastic buttons every five minutes. And of course, those things will go for whether you're adding a zip because you're knitting a biker jacket or something. If you've got any clasps or handles, anything that you're making and you need to add accessories, just go for that upgrade. Make sure it's good quality. It's a trusted quality. And you can always ask your yarn shop if they've been there for a long time and they've got people in there who know what kind of things they've held for a long time too because we always go back to them for them because that particular item is great, it's perfect. They never make a mistake when they're manufacturing that. We've never had anyone bring that back because it's faulty. That kind of thing is what you might want to ask advice for or you just look at the reviews. Think too about whether you're making palms, whether you're making fringe, tassels, that kind of thing. Make sure you're using the same quality yarn as for knitting the item because that can make a big difference. If you're putting a palm on the top of a hat um, and you've made a scarf to go with it and it's also luxurious by the time you get to making the pom oh no I'll have to use some scrap yarn I haven't got any leftovers well the pom could get all bobbly it could fall apart it can look really ragged and nasty within six months you don't want that you want that to last as long as the actual hat so make sure that you're using the same quality and good quality I am yarn for anything that you add as a fringe, a tassel or a pom. So there you go, those are the five upgrades. We have your yarn quality, using design and patterns, perhaps using recent patterns, making sure that you pick the right yarn colours so that it feels upgraded, it feels that bit classy and elegant and luxurious, and then remembering the finishing touches as well. So all those things make a big difference and you can upgrade your Christmas gifts for now, for Christmas. There's more than enough time to do that. And even if you're knitting something very small, you can say, actually, I want this to last a lifetime. So let me knit with decent quality yarn. Let me choose a pattern that I'm not gonna get frustrated over. And that's actually gonna have the right stitch count so I don't have to bodge the shaping. Then that is something that you want. Just take note of that kind of um, choice as you are knitting your Christmas gifts and it will go really well. Okay, so that's your Christmas gift upgrading. Remember, the Christmas planning master workshop, the Christmas master planning workshop is there for you. You can go through it one step at a time and just make those choices, really focus on those gifts that you want to upgrade um, or gift that you want to upgrade even. Um, and then you can use it year after year after year for any other gifts that you want to create for Christmas as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.